Hello Year 7, uh, welcome to your third lesson on Angle Facts, okay, and today we're going to be combining everything you've done so far together to answer some uh, tricky problems actually, okay, so you're going to need to know all your rules from the last two lessons, plus one more that I'm going to show you now, so you'll need to put in your books, okay, and that is opposite angles, okay, and when we say opposite angles, what we mean, when you have two perfectly straight lines crossing over, to make a sort of a letter X. The opposite angle, so this one on the left, which I'll colour in red, is exactly the same as this one over here on the right, okay? And it also means that this one on the top, which I'll colour in green, is exactly the same as that one underneath there, okay? And you know from earlier on in the week that because they go all the way around a point that all four of them add up to 360, Okay, you could even say that one red one and one green one, because they're on a straight line together, add up to 180. Okay, but opposite angles are equal when two straight lines cross. So you'll need to maybe pause the video and get that in your books. Okay, and then because everything I'm going to be using today you've done already, we're just going to go straight into some questions. And what I'd like you to do is to pause the video. Draw out the picture, and then when you're ready, have a little go yourself maybe, and then listen to me go through it and see if you manage to get it right or not before you do some questions yourself on a worksheet, okay? So there's going to be a lot of pausing. It may take you the whole lesson to get through just today's video, okay? So here's our first question. It's a triangle, and the triangle is sitting on a straight line, and we've got to work out the angle at the top, angle X. Okay, so draw it out and when you're ready, press play and I'll go through it with you and you can have a go. Right, so to find the missing angle at the top there, angle X, I need to know the other two angles in the triangle. Okay, and the problem I've got is that I only know one of them. I know the 61, so if I put a little tick there, I know that one, but I also need to know this one. Okay. Once I've worked out the two angles with ticks on, I'll be able to work out angle X at the top because angles in a triangle add up to 180. Okay, but to do that, I need this one down here first. So how can I work out that angle down there? Well, if you remember from the first lesson we did on angles, two angles on a straight line that make half a circle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so this one and this one make 180 degrees, and I can use that rule here. Okay, so these two make 180 degrees. So the first thing I need to do is 180, take away 109, bit of borrowing, okay, you should be used to borrowing by now this week, we've done lots of it, I get 71 degrees. Okay, so that means that that inside angle, the one inside the triangle, 71 degrees and now I've got two of the triangle uh, two of the angles inside the triangle now I can find the angle X at the top okay we don't need the 109 anymore so you can ignore that all I'm gonna do is 71 add 61 okay which is 132 and take that away from 180 because angles in a triangle make 180 okay so borrow We've got eight there Four there, nothing there, so our missing angle is 48 degrees for number one. Okay. Right, number two. So again, pause the video. Maybe see if you can work this one out yourself. We're trying to find this angle over here. Okay, the one called X every time. And it's a quadrilateral this time, but again, we've got a straight line sticking out here and we're going to work out angle X. When you're ready press play. Okay to work out angle X I'm going to need to know this one in green okay because once I know the green one I can use the 180 degree rule to find the red one. So to work out the green angle inside the quadrilateral I'm going to use the fact that angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees okay and I've got three angles so I can work out the fourth one 
So let's add up what we've got, 112, add 86, add 75. So we'll add those up first. So we've got 13 there, we've got 15, 16, 17. So we've got 273 degrees. Take it away from 360 because it's a quadrilateral with four sides. We've got seven, we have to borrow again here. 15 take away seven is eight, two take away two is nothing. So the green angle inside the quadrilateral is 87 degrees. Okay, I haven't got as far as working out angle X yet, but I'm gonna do that next. Now that I know that the one inside is 87, if I use the 180 degree rule, so 180 degrees, take away 87 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna to have to borrow, so 10 take away seven is three. I'm gonna to have to borrow again, 17 take away eight is nine. The angle outside must be 93 degrees. Remember that they're on a straight line, they add up to 180. Okay, next one, number three. Now number three uses the rule that I gave you at the start of this video, the angles that are opposite to each other are equal, okay, when two straight lines cross. And I've got two straight lines crossing, look, so if I highlight them, here we go, they make a letter X, look, two straight lines. So that means I can say that if this angle is 32 degrees, then so is the one on the other side, okay? Opposite angles are equal. So I'll just write there what I've done, opposite angles. Right, what type of triangle is it on the left hand side? If it's got dashes on it, it's isosceles. Isosceles triangles are special because they're symmetrical, they're the same on both sides, which means not only is the top angle X, so is the bottom one, these two are the same, okay? So to work out the missing angle, First of all, let me write down there that we've got 180 degrees in a triangle. So I'm going to do 180, take away 32, which is 148. Now, 148 is both of these angles. So to work out what one of them is, I've got to chop it in half. So 148 divided by 2. So it doesn't go into 1 carry the one, goes into 14 seven times and eight four times. So X, so both of them are 74 degrees each. Okay, so that's question three. As long as you knew how to do isosceles triangles, that one wasn't too bad. Okay, let's have a look at number four. So again, if you pause the video, maybe have a go yourself, and then when you're ready, press play, and I'll go through it with you. So we've got an isosceles triangle, and it's on a straight line. So we know we're gonna be using the 180 degree rule at least once in this question. Okay, so the only number I've got in this question is the 112. And the only thing that that helps me with is that it helps me to work out the angle then it's next to it on a straight line. Remember the rule I'm using? When two angles are next to each other on a straight line, they add up to 180. So my first job for this question is to do 180, take away 112, 10 take away two is eight, seven take away one is six, one take away one is nothing. That angle here is 68 degrees. Okay, but I've also got, look, the two little marks, which means that this triangle is isosceles. And because it's isosceles, the other side is 68 degrees as well. Now I can use the 180 degree rule inside a triangle. So I'm gonna to have to add up the two green ones. I don't need the 112 anymore because it's not inside the triangle. Add up the two green ones. So 68, add 68 makes 136 and then to finish the question off 180 because it's a triangle take away 136 is 44 degrees so that angle at the top there I'll write it in is 44 degrees okay not too many more now so number five 
Okay, so one more after this. There's five and then there's six, and then you can have a little go at the worksheet. But don't worry if you're running out of time in today's lesson because you can have tomorrow's lesson as well. Okay, so we've seen one like this before, an isosceles triangle on a line. So if I go back up, look, we had an isosceles triangle on a line here, and we were working out the angle at the top, and we knew the angle at the bottom. So for this one, it's the other way around. I know the angle at the top, and I want to work out the angle on the outside down the bottom. Okay. Remember, 180 degrees inside a triangle, and it's 180 degrees when two angles are next to each other on a line. It's isosceles again, which tells me that the two angles at the bottom are equal. And if I want to work out angle x then I'm going to need this one I've coloured in red here first so let's work that out we'll do 180 take away 40 which is 140 remember 140 degrees is both of these angles if you chop 140 degrees in half you get 70 degrees on each side okay 70 add 70 add 40 makes 180 and now I've got that this red one down here is 70 degrees. I can use the angles on a line, make 180. So these two together add up to 180. So 180 take away 70 is 110. Okay, and that's question five done. Okay, right, number six then, last one for the video. So we've got a quadrilateral on a straight line and I know the angle outside and I want to work out this angle at the top in here okay so again draw it hopefully by now you've got a bit more confidence to have a go yourself before I do it so have a little go and then when you're ready when you've got an answer or when you've got stuck press play and see if we can sort out where you've gone wrong or if you're right or wrong okay right I need to use this angle on the outside and I, the only thing I can use it for is to work out the angle that it's next to because these two together make 180 degrees. So 180, take away 75, I'll have to do some borrowing. 10 take away 5 is 5, 7 take away 7 is nothing, and 1 take away nothing is 1. So this angle here is 105. Now then, if I know three of the angles inside the quadrilateral, I can work out the missing one, x. So we've got 105, we know that one. We've got 121, we know that one. Then we've got a little square shape. And we should know by now that that means 90 degrees. So we've got three of the angles. That means if we've got one, two, three, then we can work out angle four, which is up here. Okay, so let's add together the three we've got. So we've got 1, 5 and 0 which makes 6, 2 and 9 makes 11, 1, 1 and 1 underneath makes 3, so 316 degrees. Remember angles inside a quadrilateral add up to 360, so the last thing I need to do now is take away 316 from 360 with a little bit of borrowing, 10 take away 6 is 4, 5 take away 1 is 4. 3 take away 3 is nothing, our missing angle is 44 degrees. And that's pretty much every combination of mixed up angle questions. Okay, so have a go at the worksheet I've attached. You've got this lesson and next lesson to get this done, so there's no rush. Take your time, okay? Use your book, it's not a test. And what I'll do then next lesson is I'll put a little Google form up for you to type your answers into and you can show me your workings.